friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Melissa or Missa, welcome. Today we are going to be doing a bunch of first impressions on my base because I'm doing my eyes in my last video, so basically time is short, I need to film two videos. Today I wanted to do my base off camera or in another video anyway, so that's what we're going to do. We've got a few new things to test and we're just going to jump in. Um, just ignore how I look, that would be... Wunderbar. Okay, we're just gonna jump in. First thing, I have this Technic Pore Perfect Primer, which is obviously a dupe of like the e.l.f. putty primer, I think. They sent me this and I thought, oh that smells nice, and um, that's nice. I thought I would test it. Oh, it's very, very soft. It's a lot softer than like the putty primer actually. Yeah, they sent me a refresh of my beloved smoky palette because when they reposted a picture of me wearing it, I commented like, oh, I love it so much, I've actually hit pan. So then they sent me the palette again and a few other bits. I think we'll test a few of them. This feels nice. This kind of just feels like a thick moisturiser. Got to say, it actually probably feels nicer smoothing it on than it does the putty primer. So that's interesting. It's probably very inexpensive. Technic just is, as a brand, very inexpensive. And it smells, I guess like peaches, is what, what I think. Mm. That's nice. I've only moisturized my skin, by the way, prior to starting. And yeah, I know I made a boob with my eyeshadow. Ignore it. Very smoothing actually. I mean I've got pretty good skin anyway but that seems quite nice. Okay and I'm quite excited about the foundation but first I just want to try this that came from Technic. I just thought it looked fun. I love the packaging. I don't really think colour correction is that necessary um, but I thought we could try it. So this is the Colour Correct Duo. There's a green and a pink side so I might use a little bit of the green just like around my nose where I feel like I feel, you know, I get my white moustache area and it's just here and just here I've got like red bits. I can't open it because my fingers are covered with creamy, creamy primer. Let's see. Oh, a wee doe foot. I am just put a wee smidge. See what happens. Sometimes it's just fun to play with products like this and see if they actually make a difference on your skin. I'm quite liking that it's very subtle because sometimes I'll go in like rear. It smells really nice too, but it kind of smells like a man's aftershave. Like, like it's got that kind of masculine scent, but it smells nice. I was right here where I get a bit red. I mean, I never colour correct, you guys know me, but for science, for fun, let's just do it because we have it. It's blending very nice, my finger. I'm just using my finger. And then I guess I could put a wee bit of pink under my eyes. Just to see if it will help, like, brighten before I put my foundation on, because I don't know about this foundation by the way. I've been asked to try it for a while. A couple of my sausages sent me these. So I've got two shades of the same foundation and I'm going to mix them together to make a shade that will match me. But I'm not sure what the coverage is going to be like, so maybe this will help. And we'll see. Okay. I do think it looks like I've kind of got a wee bit of concealer on underneath my eyes. I mean, I wouldn't go out like this, obviously, but, okay. Sometimes I get very nervous of very, very inexpensive base products, because I'm like, they can't be that good, like, if they're that cheap, but we'll see. So the foundation is the Body Collection Illuminating Liquid Foundation. I have, well, light to medium, buildable coverage. I've got the shades at Crew, and I also have porcelain so I thought I would mix them because I feel like that's gonna be too dark and that looks even too pale for me so I'm, I'm really excited to try this I have to say oh let me use my wee cash beauty mixing palette I threw that on the floor so let's put 
Ecru, splodge of Ecru. Ecru? Ecru. I feel like I'm saying that really strange. Let's do a wee splodge of this. That's probably too much. I'm just going to be real gross and mix it with the end of a brush. What are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a bit nervous. I'm starting to get the jitters right now actually because I start my new job tomorrow. I've got a four hour shift. And it's just doing like boring training modules but still, like it's all official now. I actually start my new job. If you missed all that, I did a bit of a chatty get ready with me recently. You can go and watch, but basically I'm going to be working oh, in a, a grocery store. It's a 12 hour contract, um, so I'll still totally be able to do my YouTube. I have absolutely zero plans on changing anything. I want to keep up my three days a week. I want to keep doing my YouTube. But a job is going to get me out and about again, socialising. This colour looks so good for me. Uh, socialising with humans, you know, making hopefully new friends, work friends. Um, this colour is phenomenal on me that I've mixed up. That's all I'm going to say. It's my love as a foundation brush making horrible watery noises, but the brush is fantastic. I do think I might buy this brush um, as a treat to myself in my first paycheck, imagine, um, with the one that's not got water on the insides, just so that when I'm filming it doesn't pick up the watery noises because it sounds like mouth noises and it freaks me out. This foundation. <laughs> what? Okay, the colour is beautiful on me. It's definitely, sorry, a bit luminous. Hmm, yeah, a bit luminous. It's a medium coverage. Now, I never have ever in my whole entire life had a problem with foundation sitting on my nose, but it's kind of not sitting beautifully on my nose, but it looks great, like on the rest of my skin. I mean, that's quite pleasant. This is really cheap, isn't it? actually don't even know where this is from, like where you get it from, or let me see how much it is. Body collection, I mean, a lot of people have googled this recently. Four pounds from Wilco. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> that is very cheap. Let's see how it looks on the old forehead, on the wrinkles. It seems to be playing pretty nicely with that primer as well. Maybe not on the tip of my nose, but certainly on the rest of my face. Yeah, so far it looks good on my forehead, but it's not even like moved for it to settle into wrinkles. I'll take it a wee bit down my neck. I don't think it's oxidizing though. Okay, overall that's looking real nice. Let me zoom you in. And that is it on my skin. So you can see the end of my nose. It looks a wee bit dry. Um, I mean, it's not blowing me away, but I have to say. A lot of foundations I try I really dislike and that's not the case. Like I could see myself, seeing how it wears today, I could definitely see myself wearing this like at my new job so that I'm not like using up all my really nice foundations that I do, you know, pref prefer to save for like, you know, more special occasions but also then going to work wearing something that I feel like confident in going on really nicely with this uh, brush as well. All right, four pounds. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that so far. And then for concealer, this is like a Technic Banana Bright Low Lighter Corrector, but I thought I could maybe use this as a concealer, like just see if it would work. Big fat doe foot. Let's put a few splodges. Just the colour looks like pale enough for me to use it as a concealer. And actually yellow tones do look nice on my skin. I'm really happy to be testing out like quite a few cheap inexpensive products today. I feel like quite often I test out quite expensive ones which is fun and I enjoy it but sometimes like getting a good result from real inexpensive products just makes me actually a lot happier my battery's about to die um because surely we all like to save money it's not just me 
being Scottish, is it? My goodness, that's really not bad. <laughs> I never try like Technic base products. I mean, I never try very, 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 very cheap makeup to be honest anymore, really, do I? It's even been so long since I've done a pre mark makeup testing video. And it's not because I've like not wanted to, it's just I've not really found anything recently that looks exciting to test, but this is going so nicely. I have to say, I'm really liking how my base is looking. So for once, I don't have a million and one cream products that I'm going to test. So I also have another Technic thing. Like I said, they sent me a few things, so I might as well just use them. This is not sponsored by Technic in any way. Um, they sent me the Mineral Powder Foundation in porcelain. They also sent a darker one, but it looks so dark I'm too scared to even look at it. So I'm just going to use this just to set a little bit. I'm going to use this weird Technic brush that they sent me just to pop this on underneath my eyes first because that's where it creases the most. It's almost got like a little bit of a pinky undertone to it. I'm also a little bit stressed because Nicola Sturgeon is just like doing a briefing right now about, I don't know, about what's obviously going on but I'm worried that she's gonna like set new rules and then bish bash bosh London won't be happening but it should be because like I'm double vaxxed and we obviously have to do like tests before we're even allowed in so it should be fine so I'm just setting my t-zone area firstly and then I'll use a big Flurfy brush just to set the rest of me. I've not really got high hopes for this powder, but we'll see. That's just my my oh super cheap products on my skin. Not a fan. Like I like inexpensive products, but there's something about like smooshing like really cheap stuff in that I'm like I don't really know what's in it and I don't know. It's just a stupid thing in my brain. But I'm sure it makes no sense because some of these like inexpensive products have the same ingredients as the more expensive ones but I think just as I'm getting older I am um, I definitely do go towards liking more high-end base products this is very fine and I feel like it's not setting to like a super oh that's better right there we go that's a good thing. Quite often you try powders and they're so heavy and cakey. Whereas this feels quite yeah, fine. Well that's it. Nice and set now. We love boy racers, they are so cool. Their exhausts are definitely trying to make up for something. Do you know what that actually looks really nice on my skin? It doesn't feel heavy, like my base does not feel heavy in the slightest. It feels really quite lovely. But everyone can stop texting me right now. I'm just going to use a wee bit of sex spray just to because I've mattified. This is my Colourpop Pretty Fresh. And even that mini bottle has the most beautiful mister and this stuff smells so nice. Pretty sure this is one Shanixo really loves, and I can tell why. It's so lovely. So lovely. So talking about how we're using really inexpensive stuff, I'm going to try my Vive bronzer again. Now I've either used this in one video, or I used it in a video and then scrapped the video because I didn't like it. So this might be the first time you're, at, you're seeing me use it, or it might be the second. I actually don't know. So I'm going to use this like warmer side as a bronzer, I already know to be honest that I like this. I think you have seen me use this before. Was it in a live? No. Yeah, because I used it when I used the skin dew stuff. I'm sure you've seen me use this before. It's a really nice bronzer. And one side is more of a bronzer on me and the other side is more of a contour, so it's quite handy. Um, I might take this to London with me because I don't really contour very much anymore. 
unless it's quite subtle. So this would be handy if I do choose to bronze on the day. We're also going to be doing um, a little bit of a London meetup. So we're going to still need to actually find and book a pub in the Clapham area. So if you're in London and you're a sausage, then come and meet us, sit in the pub with us for a few hours on the 30th or the 31st. I will clarify everything in the sausage group if you are wondering. <laughs> yeah, it's a really nice bronzer. You can definitely build it up or use it a bit more subtle. It feels expensive. Did I shave my armpits? I hope so. I usually shave them every single day. <laughs> it's just... It does, yeah. It acts, looks, feels, smells like a posh bronzer. You know, you know when you've just tried one and you're like, oh yeah, that's posh, that's what this feels like. It's real pleasant. Okay, before blush, I'm gonna highlight and I'm very excited about this. So this is the Essence Choose Your Glow Highlighter Palette and it looks like this. There's three shades in it, Candlelight, Major and Summer. And I think, what one will I go for? I might go for Summer. I think that one might match me the best today. Let's try this out. Daniela gave this to me um, and said that I needed to use it. So I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll go for Summer, which is like the darker, more peachy one. I think this is really cheap as well. I think that's why she got it, because she was like, it's so good. actually using a little bit too much down the center. <laughs> oh my goodness. My whole nose is just a wee disco ball now. Well, I can see why she wanted me to try this. <laughs> It's very, like, I would not wear this day to day, that's how glowy it is. Like, it's almost too much, and I know what you're going to say, there's no such thing. But sometimes, I do like to look more subtle <laughs> in my makeup. And this is, like, intense. That's very pretty. If you like a blinding highlight... Maybe not if you like an everyday soul I like, because that is like boosh in your face. Gouch. Not complaining, just saying, you know, for an everyday subtle look, it might be a bit much, but like stunning. <laughs> okay. Oh, blush next. I do want to use this. I really want to use this. I don't know if I actually have used this. On camera um, but I want to use this insane blush so this is the Be Perfect Zachary Van Coles World this is the Zachary one um, palette there is also like a contour bronze palette but my goodness would not work for my skin tone not complaining most products on the planet are made for pale people aren't they so when something's too dark it's actually like good um, but we're gonna use Laos as our blush and I think this is going to be insane so I'm going to just use a slightly gentler hand I actually have used this before but kind of when I was like already playing with other bits and just kind of added this on top um, I wasn't like kind of paying attention to it so it's like yellow orange blush Dreams. I think I'm going to take it all the way up because I might blend my eyeshadow into my blush in my other video, which you'll have already seen if you watch my bits. You know me, can't beat a bit of blush draping. This colour is everything. I wish they sold this as a single because the other shades in this palette, like, they do work for me, but I'm not as drawn to them. 
Whereas this shade is just dreamy if you're into this kind of colour of blush. I saw they were discontinuing Silence is Golden from NYX, so this could be a very good option. Okay, I'm gonna go finish off my eyes in my other video. Then we'll come back and put a lip on together. Um, I was also gonna use this Kylie blush, I didn't. I had other bits to test, didn't test them. There we are. Right, I'll be back soon and we will finish up. Okay, so eyes finished off in another, another video, previous video. You know what I mean? Um, my lash glue's still drying. I'm gonna put a lipstick on, which is a very cheap one. This is 59 pence from W7. This shade is called Buff. There is a paler one called In The Buff, but I put mine through the washing machine. So I'm gonna try Buff for the very first time and holy lord, I now don't need it in the buff because that is so pale. I think that might be too pale. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm going to use a darker lip liner. Hold on. That's given me a bit of a fright, I have to say. I look like a ghost. I'm going to use a Colourpop BFF just quickly. This is not a first impression. <laughs> I've used this a lot. Don't usually come across a lipstick that I think is too pale. I'm not saying it's too pale, I'm just saying it's very pale. <laughs> like, my goodness. Yeah, I think it's uh, better with a darker lip liner, but I also think my lips are looking a bit too, like, pinky toned right now. Maybe they need to be more brown. Maybe I need to put a brown lipstick on. Which I actually have a couple. Okay, that's nice. I'll try this Huda Empress. I got sent these a while ago. Yeah, I think that colour is actually a bit better with this eye makeup, right? I think it's more browny and nudie as opposed to like pinky nudie. I'm sure once I clean that up, I'm gonna look excellent. Hey, Okay, that looks better, right? I think that looks better. My lips don't look very even, they never do, but that is like it. I'm going to go fix my hair, I don't know what I can do with it, <laughs> wow. And then that'll be this, done, we'll talk very briefly about the products that we've tried, okay? Okay, makeup all done, I went in with my wee lemons. I don't know, I just felt like wearing my lemons, got them in pre-mark. Let's very briefly talk about the makeup, because I feel like I could have talked about it as I put it on, to be honest, like at quite great length. This seems really nice. That's going straight in my primer drawer. Um, I'm gonna keep playing with it. Seems really pleasant. This also, I'll talk about the two kind of concealery products. I liked them both. I didn't feel like I needed to go in my Tarte Shape Tape or anything and like fix what these didn't cover. So quite impressed with them and they're gonna go straight in my concealer drawer because I feel like I'll get quite a lot of use out of those because the color corrector was so subtle it wasn't scary to use. The foundation so far is looking really nice. I'll insert a clip here of me wearing it in like sunlight in my living room. Okay, here I am sitting in front of the living room window. Uh, I've not got like direct sunlight on me because the sun, no, the earth revolves around the sun and it's not currently shining on me. But here it is my skin, I'll zoom in. I think it's looking all right, to be quite honest. I mean, I'm heavily made up, obviously. That's the point of my life, basically. I wouldn't say it's very nice for my forehead wrinkles, but it's not the worst I've seen on them. Um, I think overall, though, it is looking quite pleasant, and uh, I'm really pleased with that foundation. Now, having seen it like in natural light as well, it's always quite important to look at yourself in normal lighting and not just studio lights because they make you look better than you actually look. I think it looks nice. I do look like I'm wearing quite a lot of makeup, but I don't really mind that today. Like sometimes I want to look like I've got a lot of makeup on and sometimes I don't. And today I'm in the mood to wear a lot of makeup, so I'm really fine, fine with it, quite happy. This setting powder seemed nice. It's a little bit pink for me. I probably won't keep it, um, but it did set my makeup nice, but it was a bit pink. I would like a slightly more yellow toned version if they have that. I might look on their website and see. The Vive bronzer, lovely. I can just put that straight in my bronzer drawer now and keep using it. And then this Shapeshifter palette, 
like for me to have to buy the both palettes just for the one blush is a bit of like an annoyance but I definitely get used to the first four shades in here this one's a bit dark but the others are really nice and they do work on my skin tone like even the the highlighter is really pretty um, and that's more of like a blush topper so it is really nice and I would recommend it if you are like dying for this colour it is beautiful like let's be honest then this highlight pilot, pilot really blew me away beautiful 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 not subtle at all if you want a blinding highlight I think this is very very inexpensive and it was absolutely lovely and this Huda lipstick gorgeous formula it feels so nice on my lips don't know who's wearing glossy lips though right now with mask wearing like I don't understand it like even when I put like a glossy balm on I'm like it's just gonna get smeared everywhere but I guess if you're in a scenario where you're not wearing a mask gorgeous and then this pretty fresh was just lovely I've used it in my own time I think this is the first time on camera it's a gorgeous setting spray the mister is beautiful smells nice and it feels lush on the skin I think that's pretty much everything that we used. I don't know if I missed anything out, it doesn't really matter. I think I talked about it all as we put it on. Really pleased with my makeup today actually. So yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below, tell me what, what you wanna see me use next on my channel. What do you want to see me? What do you want, what do, you, what do, I want to do? Tell me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you wanna watch my vlogs, then the link to become a sausage or a Patreon is down below in the description box. And I'm going to piss off. Have a lovely day and I hope we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.